Maria. I'm Stacy Galino of Sacred Heart Catholic Church. Welcome to day 10 of the consecration to Our Lady. Consecration to Our Lady is a path that the evil one and those fallen angels that he commands do not at any cost want us to make. For that path leads us back to Jesus Christ, our bridegroom, to the heart of the Father, and to the fullness of our creation that we once knew intimately before the fall of mankind. We should not then be surprised by struggles we encounter with fear and doubt, a sense of unworthiness of the gift of God's love and mercy, or other disturbing distractions or temptations that may assail us as we pilgrimage through our consecration. I was very moved recently by a reflection by Father Raniero Cantilamesa in which he quotes St. Catherine of Siena, and it provides a certain perspective on this walk of holiness that we're on in this consecration. And I'll read a portion of it to you. He says, do not be afraid. If the enemy continues to make war against you, this might mean that he has still not obtained what he set out to achieve. Otherwise, he would stop tormenting you. St. Catherine once received a visit from her heavenly spouse at a time when she was being assailed by a tide of temptations of the flesh. My Lord, she called out to him, where were you when my heart was being tormented by so many temptations? And the Lord replies, I was in your heart. He goes on to say, those thoughts and temptations, did they gladden your heart or sadden it? bring you displeasure or pleasure? And she replies, great pain, great displeasure. And he answers, who was it who made you feel displeasure, if not I who was hiding in the center of your heart? So let not your hearts be troubled and be at peace and persevere and do not be afraid as you are led by our mother into the sweetness of contemplation of our Father's love for you. Mary, who most perfectly embodies the pilgrimage back to the heart of the Father, will keep you enfolded in her mantle and protected within the garden of her womb. Our Lady of the Immaculata, pray for us. Maria.